Today's Monday makeup lesson is five steps to highlighting and contouring. I like to start off with a light layer of foundation or just a little concealer. Step one, create a triangle underneath the eyes. From the inner corner of the eye to the edge of the nose and sweeping up past the eye. So take a concealer brush and a foundation one to two shades lighter than your skin and create these triangles. You can play around with the shape of the triangles depending on your face shape. I like to lighten the edge of my nose slightly because hormonally this can be quite dark and often red. If you're getting right underneath the eyes, look upwards to expose the skin. Step 2. Highlight the center of the face. Use the arch of your brows as a guide and mark this in. This is as wide as you want to go with your highlighter. Pull slightly downwards in between the brows and slightly upwards on the center of the forehead. Draw a thin line down the nose. Once again, play around with the shape to find out what suits you. I like to highlight my cupid's bow to create a fuller lip appearance. And also the center of the chin, but leave a gap right underneath the lips for that pouty appearance. Use whatever's left over to highlight the edge of the lips, pulling upwards and slightly out. With a clean foundation brush and a darker shade of foundation, contour the edge of the forehead right at the hairline. Once again, use your brows as a guide and contour right outside of the arch. Step four, contour the edge of the nose, playing around with the shape to find out what suits you. Or define the nose shape with just two simple lines. Use whatever's left over in the brush to contour right underneath the lips for that pouty appearance. For step five, use the top of your ear and the corner of your mouth as a guide and create a line. To find the stopping point of the line, look straight on in a mirror and it's right below your pupil or just as you get to the apples of the cheek. Use whatever's left over in the brush to go along the jawline but this is totally optional. And we're done! Yay! No, I'm just kidding, we really need to blend this. I'm using a damp sponge to blend this out and you just bounce this off and on the skin starting off with the highlighted areas and then slightly blending into the contoured areas. And this will give a beautiful flawless airbrushed appearance. Once you have blended everything out, you can set the makeup with a transparent powder or a powder that matches the highlighting and contoured areas or try using a setting spray. If you prefer powder, highlighting and contouring, click the screen now to see that tutorial. And I'll see you next time.